course.
Welcome viewers. Sorry for all the sound. Doing a little nightmare for Christmas with my own characters here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me turn on the. I don't know if you can see this well. Maybe it'd be better to come back and see when I begin the inking. <laughs> see here. A big round ball, that's always, always difficult. Sound in the background is the TV and the baby call. <clears throat> mm. 
Japan. Et il fallait 
Hello, viewer. Oh, okay, <laughs> you left. Uh, well, that's okay. Hmm. That is not good video quality. <laughs> Sorry. So, should I give him normal clothing or? Mm. I feel I should give her something. Hands. I hate you, hands. I think that it <coughs> something all artists have in common. We all hate hands. I hate to have to ink this afterwards because then I, my flaws in the hands is going to be obvious.
Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, what do we got here? Have you, have you? Let's see this. Zero, one, zero, zero, zero. The better usually, but not always. Hmm. Pretty cool. Just a thing if I could. You're winking. Hey, thinking. <laughs> the best part of any drawings is you're here. Sketching. I guess it's just that all the flaws are not apparent. I don't know. I think we artists are harsh critics of ourselves. I mean, even Don Rosa, greatest Disney artist of all time, hate his own drawings. And I mean, I, it's fantastic. I do love to join these characters. I really do. I really do enjoy giving them some sort of life. Looking in my bathroom for the last month. It was a very enjoyable drawing again. Even though it won't be perfect, at least it's a Little Christmas drawing. And then we have you, Mr. Television here in the background there. Norwegian television with all Norwegian traditions. Yeah, nobody live right now. If you've seen this in replay, which is doubtful, but if you are, this is what you hear in the background. So Maybe noisy. Oh, 
Och vi tänder våra lykter när det märker I love that song. And we lighting up our candles in the darkness. When all the sounds <coughs> are gone and we are left. No, uh, I don't know if this is a tradition out there, but in Norway, the television has always made um, 24 episode uh, series just for the Christmas special for kids. Don't know how common that is in foreign countries. I mean, we are very much affected by American culture here, and I've really never seen that from America. The Christmas specials, for sure, but in Norway we have 24, usually 24 episodes. Yeah, yeah now you can see this a little better. This turned out not too bad, really. I had to photo it afterwards, so if I screw it up, I may repaint it. I'm gonna color this, I'm gonna call it original. <gasps> <coughs> yeah, that is bad cough. Marvelous Jewel. Christmas in Norway is Yule. That's a word that's going to stay because it's not really Christ a Christian word. So nobody's running around. You can't say Yule because then uh, then you're not respecting other people's religions and things like that. Because in Norway, it's uh, it's actually a hidden word for Christmas. So. Uh, Yule was kind of the Nordic uh, old tradition uh, for the well for the, the feast uh, that they did have. Many cultures did, especially here in Norway, we celebrate when the sun came back, and that was <coughs> Yule, the Yule tradition. And of course, they tried to make uh, make the word Christmas uh, in a way, which is would be the uh, correct translation of Christmas in all way, but it really just never hit. So just you just stayed. So in no way you can. Muslims are saying go you, and uh, Christians are saying go you, and uh, humanist, uh, humanist, whatever they call it. you know. Well, we we don't have. I don't, humanist is kind of the atheist in all way. I guess they would say go you too, but. Um, it kind of is a strange people just like in America. When I say atheists, I don't mean people who don't believe in in God. I mean people who directly out call them atheists and you can always call them you can almost call them Dawkin, Dawkins. Mystic. No. I don't want to go into a religious debate, but
do 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 Willkommen, willkommen. Bist du da auch das Mal? No, oh, I'm going in circles. Um.
Should I include this now there or not? Mm. Feels right. The new bishop in Norway is uh, one who had been working the past years as a, a street priest. That would say that she had been a priest for uh, those are, that lives on the street for homeless. Hmm. Drug problems, something like that. Oh, I have to sneeze. Maybe put off the mic for this one. And my back, yeah. Still you joining. I'm happy with this piece. <coughs> I'm getting good. happy with this piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost ready to color it. Dear, dear. What should I call it? It is kind of a recall to Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas, but I don't know if I'm going to go with the same coloring scheme. Mostly because it would cost me very, very, very much ink. <laughs> and when you're using dark colors, it's very easy to hit just too dark. Uh, I love dark colors, but it's very easy to go too, too dark. So using pro markers. Here. I have a lot of pro markers. The problem is, yeah, they're, they're, they're showing the color on the outside, but it's never acting the same on paper. And of course, I'm running under bad light. So. <clears throat> on the racer here so I don't do too much damage but this is high quality paper so shouldn't really be <coughs> an issue still nervous always nervous especially if there's been a line you've forgotten to What are some details that just stay better with the pencil lines? I was wondering if I should not take them away, but I think I will at least superficial. And that, uh, Here we go. 
Here we go. Ah, nice. So, can I remember all of this? Hmm. So, something. Sacrifice a piece of paper here. Good of all mankind. We'll just use that. So you are Maron. Hello, Maron. Yeah, I think you are Mistel's hair. Um, do, 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 do. And we have Plum. I think you are a little bluish. Ah, no, you are Mistel's hair. Plum is Mistel's hair. They're a little too red. So, um, just getting my phone here to see. <coughs> the Nightmare Before Christmas, the iconic. So that was mostly kind of bluish purple. And blackish from the top, so it was blackish from the top, but bluish from the bottom. And it's a bit hard to use uh, this to do, but you try at least. I have a very dark blue color here, so I was wondering if using that. Second, here, gonna save this because I'm going to mess it up. It's um, always a problem. <laughs> and Google Photo it. Putting everything on Google Photo. Okay. Still no viewers. <coughs> this was great. Try a little this. Crunch. Mm. Thank you, other one that's supposed to be Mistel's fur. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mistel's fur. <clears throat> The colors need to dry a little before they show themselves. They are a little sleepy. And Henna, I believe you are, well, Hans. So, beginning to find uh, Mistel's color scheme here. I should really write things down. You know? <coughs> I do a little too much in my head. So, I don't think green will be used that much today. Maybe for the crystal. Dark. That felt more right for me. And then we need a force red. You are Ruby. Ruby is a nice red. Yeah. A little pinkish, but we have cardinal red. Is that better? Mm, felt better. Ah, see, I forgot something. Five. Uh, so we have Mr. Skull Scheme, but uh, I'm going to do a little different thing with her. So let's see here. <clears throat> Could be the pants color. Ah, we have this one. I've forgotten about that. Hmm. Should be a Rick's jacket, I think. Uh, that could be her knickers. 
and I can give her a blue shirt. Well, the reason I don't give her a Christmas red is because Mistle is orange, so it's a much better contrast to having a blue color. And we have some beautiful blue colors here. This is Arctic blue. And we have Cyan. Cyan is too powerful usually. Yeah, but I might use it for this. No. Yeah, I think I'd rather mix sky blue. I don't like using cyan because it's. I don't know. I like when color are mixed. And here we have. No, no, cyan. Uh, and there we have. I think this is pastel. No, powder blue. What are you? Oh. Ah, uh, well, that was a little too powdery. Yeah, I think I put powdery blue there. I think I will use sky blue. <sighs> Need to find Rick's uh, skin color. Soft peach. Yeah, the problem with humans, the pinkies like me, we from the north. I don't like to give ourselves uh, the pink color which we have. <laughs> so South Peach is a nice color, but it's a little bit powerful. I think I'd rather go for Alman. Where's Alman? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry if I say something wrong in some languages. Uh, I don't know if you know anything really about me, but uh, I'm a Christian. I believe all human beings are the same. I believe in equality. <coughs> I disagree with those who think one race is more powerful than the other, because that is just nonsense. Somebody is born into a family with more power, and that is a fact, but that is something completely different. Doesn't make you more smart. Just make you more crew. Hmm. I'm definitely Almo. So we have Rick's scheme there, but he needs a hair. His hair is oh my goodness, I can't remember Rick's hair. Gave him a bit uh We have to cheat a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, my comics were there. Yay. Anyone watching? No, zero. Huh. Really? No one? So, live now, driving. I mean, what I usually publish, always someone. Index of pages. <coughs> oh, his hair is a little yeah, blonde, brownish, grey. That is actually the most usual color we have here. Very few are born with white hair hair. Um so here's a Goldilock. I think that brown color is the best one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's something for the soft lime. Okay. Uh, the color in this room is not good. <laughs> canary. I love canary. Can be a little wrong, but I think it will be right here because. Canary will bring that warmth to the moon here. <coughs> so, yeah. Mistle, Rick, might use the brown for his hair. And I think we have, yeah, the sky. I'm going to use this very powerful dark blue here. Uh, 
maybe some CN. And here we have the pink, dark pink. I actually used this for mistles here in the beginning when I had fewer of these. Oh, it's marine. <laughs> I thought it was green. Marine green. Pastel blue. That was pastel blue. Still better than. <coughs> okay. I think we are ready. As ready as I can be. Here we go. Um, since so few are following right now, maybe I should update. Mm -mm. Or maybe not, I mean. I should put up a journal too. Okay, we'll continue coloring. <coughs> By the way, to make this a little Christmas tree, is my Christmas tree. Okay. Let's go down and begin coloring. So sorry for the video quality. The Mistel's fur color. Okay, let me have chosen right. You know, I start with a tail just to get a hang of this. Because this is this thing is so thick compared to the lines now. Sorry if I stick sticking my face. I love pro markers. I wish I could draw my entire comic with it. I'm just too nervous to use it for that kind of work, really. And this is one of my few silent moments. You know, when you become a dad, you it will change for better and worse <laughs> in some sort of ways. Mostly for the better. I mean, you learn a lot about yourself. It's not an easy task. And nothing can really prepare you. You can hear all these things. Oh, it's going to be hard. You can hear things are going to get harder. But you really can't prepare for that kind of stuff. Okay. But now I was hoping that I could draw one Christmas drawing before Christmas. So I'm very happy now that I've gotten this far. So I'm drawing on a paper that really can take the bleed from the pro markers. <clears throat> but it's still very hard. So thank you, faithful viewer. This is very 
is the scary part. I'm going to upload the finished product. Give it a proper scan. <laughs> Thank you, Sterovision. Really happy I have two eyes working nice right now. Mm. And there's the television in the background. Okay, I think we kind of correctly witnessed. Not trying anything more, nothing more scary than this. So, um, then we start our hair. Yeah, I think that will be the most correct thing to use. Sorry if this is boring. Uh, I have not done many live screens, which is one idea I got when I was drawing this, since you haven't heard very much about me this Christmas. I've been working on my bathroom, a new bathroom. We, we're gonna get a, another kid, so we had this bathroom planned for a long time when we got enough money for it, and we got. So, uh, that finished, uh, kind of working a little on the edge of our economy, but it went well. Our savings did afford for it, so that was good. And it ended up nicely enough. It's both a bathroom and a, what is called washing room. Washroom. I know English, but we come to daily and <coughs> language. The things that are not covered by movies, so uh, it was short. <laughs> so, there we go. Oh, still one viewer. Hello. Thank you. Dear, missed that one. Yeah, yeah. I will have to hit and miss a little bit. That's. I hope that will be a part of the show. And sometime I see some artwork where I haven't hit everything correctly. It always looks so charming, but when I do it myself, I think it looks horrible. <laughs> I don't know if you're able to chat here. I just set up this for the first time, so. Um, so I can't see if anybody have asked me anything, but just guess no. Okay, um, cinema that was for the pants. Let's, let's finish the ears. Hands. So there we go. Well, I will try to answer questions afterwards if there is no chat room here because I don't see any comments if anyone is commenting right now. But thanks for the view, anyway. <coughs> oh, this was really a bad position for my back. 
I haven't seen Nightmare Before Christmas this Halloween or Christmas. Should really get around to that. Cotton and Red. It's a long time since I've seen it. Great movie. Okay, let's see here. It's my baby. Sometimes wake up around uh, 2225. <coughs> it's just the way it is. It's my life. Mm, try use the Arctic blue or the dark blue. Mm. Ah. I'm going with Arctic blue. Decision made. Okay, so stuff. It's always the scary part. Is she awake or is she sleeping? <laughs> no, she would talk in sleep. Really scary thing about babies is that when they are growing, they sometimes will have growing nightmares and they can start screaming for nothing in the middle of the night. And they're opening their eyes, they're looking at you while they're screaming, but there's no contact. They are still dreaming. It's kind of a sleepwalking. It's very, very scary. Nobody told me about it. But uh, it's nothing dangerous, just a part of their growing pain. Um, with my eyes, somebody told me what it was. There's not enough. No enough. Okay, I think. I will use the <coughs> powder blue. Again, I'm using the blue because that's a good contrast with Mistel's orange. Okay, we forgot a pun. It's in the scary part. Mm, I think I'll use ruby. Don't miss no vision and her interior. I think I'll use what are you? Blossom? No. Yeah. Amalyst. If you've seen uh, Christina, Steven Universe, isn't that where she is named? One of the gems? The, the one with some spunk. There we go. And her eyebrows needs a little more henna. Isn't the henna kind of a tattoo thing? Okay, Rick. Time to call you too. Here we go. Oh, we get some color. Ah, oh, see, I forgot a line there. Fix that, right?
Okay, no, it's not completely the correct color to his hair, but I think it will be right. <laughs> Sorry, I have been sick this entire month. That's a nice thing about Chrome Office, you can mix the colors all the time. There we go. Um, I haven't really thought about his scarf. <clears throat> I have been thinking about his jacket. So I hope you will have a nice Christmas. I was watching it now. If you're watching this live or you're watching this in replay, sure, Merry, Merry Christmas or Gu Gu Yul. Gu Yul. Fun fact we're saying Gu Yul in both Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. I don't know if they're saying it in other countries too, but they come here. So it's pants. Pants. You can do with those. What are you, black? <coughs> Dark. Cool gray. You're a little too light. Cool gray four. You are darker. A bit boring giving gray pants. Yeah. Looking here. Mm. Yeah, I think we go for that. Let's make a decision. If this doesn't make it, I would just say we can bad taste. <laughs> kind of works with that color. Well, not I wasn't sure. I have perfect color vision, but choosing colors is still hard. Oh, his shoes became big. Look at all his dads. Mm -hmm. I could give him what are you, cool gray? Cool gray for <laughs> Grease Freud. Grease fresco. Sure. <coughs> we need to give him a colorful scarf. Now the moon is going to be canary yellow, so um, we should watch out for that. Maybe he should have something contrasting to her. So something reddish. 
berry red. That's a very powerful color. Still. So I'm making a little decisions on the fly here. It's a bit of the fun. At the same time, I don't want to use too much time on this. I have to finish this tonight. Clock is night 22 before it's Christmas tomorrow. Uh, in, in Norway, we are celebrating Christmas tomorrow. Uh, the first, uh, the 25th is kind of uh, the day after Christmas, but yeah. So we are opening all our presents on the 24th. Still, we got a, got a beat by uh, the Netherlands. They opening their presents the 5th of December. Just checking if it could be cool. I gave him stripes. I wonder how much time I'll get to draw anything next year. The two children. No less two babies. Ah. We were just painted red. Make it simple. Always miss. Always missed. <coughs> so the lines here. Sorry, Rick. Painting red. Yay. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then the rest is going to be yellow. Oh my back. <sighs> I think we're going to use canary. Yeah, it feels the right color. It feels like the right color. Here we go. I really like using the other side more because I feel like more control of the color, but at the same time, it's okay to use this too. <laughs> I really hate when you can see I've been painting around them or something like that, but it just can't be helped. It's very hard to make it better, but one thing I do right now, helping for that. Sometimes it's a bit too much to. Oh, I hate this off. <laughs> Make it stop. Mm, still one viewer. Thank you. Or if there's some flaw in the counter, I don't know. Or if there are anyone else watching right now, I'm saying thank you to you too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you didn't wonder, this is a nightmare before Christmas motif. Just... Mm -hmm. 
too far back if I do I may not turn it right This is really an element I do love to do. Uh, I do do digitally because it's easier and faster. But <coughs> and most you can use Control Set. I mean, you can regret what you've done. It's something you can't do traditionally, and that's a bit boring when you have ink like this and you do a mistake. Like now, there's a lot of mistakes here, but I just ignore them for my own well-being instead of irritating myself over it but there have been a lot of artwork i've finished and after it i just kind of go oh i hate the floor i can't get over it i sometimes have inked then printed without then drawn on that so i can do it again but the thing is this calling job is taking a lot of time so it's really 
nothing you will want to do again. So if this should have been correct with uh, Nightmare for Christmas with colors and everything, I should have darkened them uh, because of the moon, but I won't do that here because I just messed everything up. And I do really like how Mr. Len Rick turned out here. If I would do that, I would do a ticket for me. Okay, we are finishing. But there are a lot of white spots here. A lot of holidays, as they say. If you heard that expression before, but it's just if you missed a spot, it's a holiday, right? And there is um, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We're getting nearer, yay! Oh. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. On the windows, let it snow. So you are pressure. <laughs> hey, indigo. Yeah, I was thinking of using indigo down here. So this is going to get dark. <laughs> really, really dark. If you want to see how far we have come before it ruins everything. There we go. Let's continue, huh? Oh, there we go. Okay. Wish me luck. Luck is for the ill prepared. What's Junior today with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Never seen it before. Interesting movie. <laughs> it did actually give me some laughs. I, I do sometimes love cheesy 80s movies. And if you don't know the movie, it's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger getting pregnant. Yes. But it is not as silly as it sounds. It's a silly movie, but it's not as silly as it sounds. And I actually think I do love Arnold when he get out of his comfort zone. And I know he tried to <coughs> do that. He wanted to. He worked hard for his career. And of course, um, he had done mistakes. <laughs> we all do that. I should really not hit the moon now because then we get a green moon. And there's no song for that. <laughs> there's a book for that, Green Moon. It's a little short storybook you can find on the Gutenberg project. <coughs> Come from the 1950s, about after an atomic bomb that went off. Those are not stars, it's supposed to be snow, but I don't know how clear it is. That's a probably problem with the traditional media. It's not as clear with snow and uh, not as clear with snow and stars. There are some better effects you just can't do, can't do traditionally. And one thing I do with paint, if I do snow effects I've been years that I've been painting but stars you are, you take some white and you watering water it completely out and then you blow on the brush over the painting and you get a very nice star effect or snow effect or whatever you want however it's a it's a one time go if you mess it up <laughs> it can get bad but what do you do if you if you do acrylic you just wait for the entire painting to dry up and then you do it in the end because then you actually can wash it away if you do a mistake. Just be careful. Acrylic is almost as plastic when it's dry out. You uh, can take a little water on it. But I do 
do not recommend it. Try and make everything you want from the beginning. So now I have a little problem here because I can see all the ch 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 So not nice. Should have done like this. Uh, this is things I forget from time to time. I just try to make it randomizing. Uh, more randomizing, the better it will look usually. It's not a giveaway, but it's usually helps. And of course, our sky is never perfect. So it's try to have a little bit unregular. It's nice with the moon there, so I don't have to do everything. Oh no, I hit the snow. Don't disappear. <laughs> you make a little snowflake for that moment and then you miss it. Ah, I know I, what I should have had. I should have had Tipex. Should have Tipex in the snow and just paint the entire background blue. It's not cheating, it's uh, tricks. This is illusions after all, it's just ink on a piece of paper. That's all it is. I try to make the illusion of figurines and characters and stories. My imagination uh, does rest. It looks like something from what we can imagine. That's why I do love sketches again, because gadgets, sketches really do get room for the imagination. Okay, I actually think I will use this end on all of this. Until it is a bit hard, especially with the details. Especially around the snow. Don't disappear. Don't. There. Got around it. Don't mess everything up now. Come on. Ooh. Well, good, I don't have two sides to do. <laughs> Sorry, this is a bit of the, well, most boring part, but I soon finished with the piece. Oh, I forgot this. Darn. <laughs> but I don't think I will go as dark as I thought. I think I will do a little more grayish on this ground here. This is after all a traditional painting. If you go as dark as the movie, then well, it will both be different and it will both be the same and not as different. Now we can see the resemblance of Nightmare Before Christmas, but at the same time see it's uh, painted by someone else. Hey, you know what? This is the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's Christmas tomorrow, at least for me. <laughs> This for Norway. So I'm painting a Christmas homage to Nightmare for Christmas. Before Christmas. Literally. That's nice. Sorry, I haven't taken my beard. I don't get a beard, I just get a little hair dust. My father don't get beard, so I will not get it either. Okay, it's Oprah on the television. It's a, it's a television program going on called The Night Before the Night. It's different. So. And they, I saw it mostly for the sketch, which they're running every single year since the 1980s. And it's called Dinner for One in English. Uh, it's called something like the 90s. <coughs> 90s Geburtstag or something like that in German, which it originated. 
at least it originated on television. I think it actually was originally British. And the sketch uh, is called um, The Duchess and the uh, Servant in Norwegian. Uh, and it's a wonderful sketch about uh, a duchess who have her loyal servant and they are having birthday party for her uh, with her friends, which all are dead. So James, uh, or the servant, has to react that like they are there at the same time as he's serving them drinks. So he is getting drunker and drunker. Each meal and turn around the table because he has to drink up the cups. There are different versions. The best one is the black and white. At least for me, it's sharper. I just saw the colored version, which have more dialogue and things like that, but kind of ruined it a little. Quite honestly. Okay, I have five percent power left. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, if I don't get power soon, we're going to die. Uh, just a second. Power may disappear right now. See if we can get some power. Oh, there we go. Nice good power. There. Yeah, the computer still lives. Lovely. <coughs> Hello, viewer. Still there? Good. Just checking so I still have the right color. <laughs> we need to begin to color this off with a different color scheme. That had not been funny. That had been horrible. Horrible for me. Funny for you. There we go. There we go. Now let's see. Ooh. I wonder if I can speed run this afterwards so you can see my entire sketch be doing seconds, at least in a minute or something. I want to check that out afterwards. Be nice it could. I know you can double the speed, but that's really not. On. Sorry, I hit the snow. <coughs> I hit the moon. No, we're mistaken. Yeah, we have to. Oh, I hit the moon again. I'm failing. Oh no. Okay, the moon got a little three D pixels. Trying to correct the mistake. Just failing more. <laughs> there we go. Okay, just gonna have to live with that. <coughs> We're gonna do the snow a little more like this. Do a little more snow on this side, and maybe it'd be nice. Why did I do that? I should have done this. Ah, wonderful things we do in life. 
makes more sense there on the moon because if you just had white there, it wouldn't be enough. Does one look good or look bad? Give it a take. Holidays here are really not a problem because they look like snow. Really happy when I'm done with this guy. And I'm happy with the color choice. Very happy. Yeah, it's nice now. Though. Okay, changing positions. Okay. Much is black. Eleven. Oh dear. Oh dear. Eleven in Norway. Twenty. Twenty-three hundred hours. Isn't that the way you say it? We're just saying twenty-three zero zero. It sounds different in Norwegian. Well, we just say it's eleven o'clock. Look at the 23 number and say it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, does it? That's the way we do it. We don't say it's 21. The clock is 21. <laughs> we say the clock is 9. But we are looking at the clock that it says 21. It makes perfect sense in my head. Now, as I say, it really doesn't make sense at all. <coughs> I never understood Fahrenheit. I mean, it makes much more logic to me to go out from the, the point of... Um, to take out uh, from the water's freezing point. It makes much more logic to me. And the freezing point of Fahrenheit is 32, something like that. At the same time, the, in the science in America, they, they're using Celsius much. Okay. We are getting near. Looking pretty, be it's looking better on that screen. <laughs> looking at this in bad lighting. When I put this on the scanner, it's it all we mushed together. Oh, the scanner. Cool, cool. 
lightning scanner. I should get a better scanner that doesn't mess up my photo too much. It does have a normal scanner. I do suspect it kind of ruins the lie, the colors. I feel it does. I feel it doesn't replica the colors in the right way. Maybe I should photo it instead. This is what I have. Oh, soon finished with the sky. Oh, sweet Lord. Soon done. <coughs> Yeah. This guy is done. Thank you. And I have this part left. Now that I look at it, I think I would try a little more. Yes, it was originally a little pinkish. And this was completely dark. But it is grayish. So I think thing because I have the blue gray doesn't it? Yeah. So I have this gray which is that's warm gray and this is dark and gray. And I have of course this one too. I think I will do that a little. If you don't remember from uh, Tim Burton's movie it was all a bit stripey. And all these stripes everywhere. So uh, I hope I do a right thing now. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin my complete drawing. Oh no! So basically, you should do a lot of wrong things to to draw something horribly wrong. I think this will turn out nice in the end. It is a little scary to do what I do right now. But I kind of have a good feeling in all of this. <coughs> sure that makes no sense, but I do. Oh, that was the dark gray. Hmm. I was thinking of using the cool gray. <laughs> okay. Well, let me go for that gray. But, uh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, all right in there. Yeah, it's doing what I wanted it to do. Great. So it's it's kind of overlapping the, the, the um, uh, violet, but the violet will come through still. Oh, three nuts to Askipot, three nuts to Cinderella. I'm sure you don't know that if you're not from Norway or an Eastern European country, but this is Christmas tradition. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, I think it was, I, 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 maybe I'm saying wrong now, but I think it was Polish and Czechoslovakian. Something like that. <coughs> there were some, um, it's called, uh, they, they were working together on this movie. And it is just a wonderful Christmas movie, and it had the most beautiful music which you're hearing right now. And last year, they took the all these years it was shown in a terrible terrible condition uh, and last year they were showing for the first time an hd re um they had re-scanned all the old films and things like that and i'm watching for the first time in hd and they had one thing that happens when they do these rescans are they are rediscovering the colors so 
the movie had this kind of brownish filter over it. And when you saw it again, you almost like seeing a new movie because their pants were blue instead of gray. <coughs> and the brown was brown. I mean, real brown. So the, the movie was so colorful. Ah. Uh, now they gone over to uh, Wish Upon Me. Yeah. You know it. So uh, the Pinocchio movie, we had something called Dis uh, Disney Christmas. Singing from all of us to all of you, Merry Merry Christmas. Um, that Disney uh, classic. And to me, uh, would sing this song in the morning. Okay, we are getting near the end. Yeah, maybe we'll do a cut of this. Maybe we'll upload and then scrap this the full version and then upload a cut version. Sorry, I uh, just heard that song. I just had to sing. <laughs> One of my favorites. So in English will be Christmas Star. Ah, where are you? Ooh, I never thought of this. This kind of looked like a Viking ship, doesn't it? <laughs> Ah, now they're wishing Merry Christmas. And you know what? It's perfect because I'm almost done. So I can wish you Merry Christmas in the end too, because I'm done. I think we need a singer here, don't we? Should I use a fit anymore? There's number two here. There is not. Then I will simply use this one. Two thousand and seventeen. Still. Mary. Thank you for following me. This is the finished product. Oh, 
I'm gonna upload it soon. So, let's see. thank you so much for following me. Hello. <laughs> Show you the Christmas tree. And Merry Christmas. Stop. So